now masculinity is said to be toxic apparently in fact forget about toxic that's one level they are bringing masculinity to a point of people are thinking masculinity is being like a female women don't need help to be women they know how to do it it's innate in them but now oh i like how you have done your nails you're a true man where are the days where they would say you have gone out there and conquered heights you have come with scars from the battlefield where are those men you understand what i'm saying you have come tired your lips are dry not because you're an untidy man you have walked 10 kilometers to save the little money so that your children have meat tomorrow. Where are those men? That the man will come back and black out and the wife looks at the man and says, you know, don't disturb daddy. He's very tired. He left at six. He has come back at six. He's been grinding. But now we have men who wake up at 10 and steam their faces. can't get tired. Only your fingers will be aching. And then the man lives at 3 o'clock. He comes back at 4. Oh, it's been a hard day. Which day has been hard? You have done nothing, my brother. So our young boys are seeing that as normal. Our young boys are seeing that as normal. And the girls are moving up. And then you're complaining. Oh, the girl child has taken over. No, she has not taken over. You just abdicated. You abdicated. It's as simple as that. Let me tell you, women don't like untidy things. Married men will tell you, if something, a paper is dropped, a man can pass it. The wife will come and be like, no, I have to pick it up. So if you leave your seat, the woman will come and sit. Mm. So let's not overuse that to uh, justify our bad behavior and inability to take our positions of leadership. Yeah, they say good times create weak men. Yes. Weak men create tough times. Yes. And then tough times create strong men. Right. Now we're in good times. Yeah. Bro, Africa, open your eyes. My goodness, it's painful. It breaks my heart. 